sometimes I come across a few products that I just have to get hold of. And I saw this on Instagram a few months ago and I got in touch with the company and they were nice enough to give you guys a first look at their Game Boy glasses. This box has what is known as the world's first pair of smart glasses for video gamers and they're designed around the original Game Boy DMG. And I am very excited because they just look absolutely insane. And they generally look and have taken a lot of design features from the DMG. And this is it. Let's jump right in, see what it's all about. And they start at $159, you can pre-order them. They're basically, you know, Bluetooth wireless headphones in sunglasses that are designed to reduce digital strain on the eye. And I don't know, I don't know if I've seen anyone get hold of these yet. This could be a first exclusive look, which if it is, I'm excited about. So let's take a look. This is the Mutrix GB30 Smart Gaming Glasses with Bluetooth 5.0 and blue light reduction lenses. I'm excited, let's jump in. I have no idea what to expect in all honesty. The packaging is looking nice and you can see there the quick guide is basically the DMG and if I open that up like so you get a little look at the glasses there and a little look at some of the, the charging and specs and stuff. All right, okay, let's see. Okay, what the, there you go. Look, refer a friend and get $20 plus $20. So there you have it. If you want to have a look at them, there you go, and I'll get a $20 coupon. Lovely. All right, so the box here, I'm guessing how the... Oh, my God. This is some premium packaging. So it looks as if the glasses are in there. You've got a lens wiping cloth and a charging cable in there. I will take a look. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the packaging quality on here. So it looks like an embossed cleaning cloth. And these are some lenses here. I think they gave me two lots of lenses. I'm not sure what the difference is. There's three lots here actually. Have no idea what the difference is. And the cable, is it micro USB-C? or USB-C, shall I say? Oh no, it's a different one. It's one you just snap onto the side of the glasses and you can charge and go. All right, this is what you've been waiting for, the Game Boy glasses. I never thought I'd be unboxing Game Boy glasses, but today is the day. And that packaging is absolutely lovely. Look at that. Magnetic mechanism on the front here. And here are the glasses. Alrighty, I'm gonna zoom in. I think I'm already zoomed in. There you go. Alrighty, let's take a peek. Oh boy. Okay, here they are. And you can see the little Game Boy on the side there. Oh my God. This is like something, you know, out of Back to the Future. It definitely needs a little clean, so I'm going to give it a clean with the microfiber cloth here. Now, I think you can use these as normal sunglasses, so that is the lenses on them now. And then you put on the blue filtered lenses when you're playing video games, and that should reduce eye strain. On the side here, you've got the DMG D-pad. Oh, they're rubberized, which is quite nice. And the plus and minus, I'm guessing... This is to get through some kind of settings. This is the volume. You've got your speakers here. And then you've got the GB30 branding on the side. You've got little purple grips on the, the back there. And then you've got your charging port there, which you just snap on like so. All right, shall I put these on? Let's see what these look like on. I don't think I've ever reviewed sunglasses in my life. Oh, oh my God. Look at that, so where's the Game Boy stuff? Right there. All right, I have no idea how you turn this on and I have no idea if like the, 
the speaker on the side just kind of comes out. I don't know, like surely on a train or a bus, that would be a little bit annoying. But uh, let's see if I can turn it on. Let's see if I can hear it. Okay, oh, okay, so there's an on-off switch at the bottom. Is there a manual? It's the DMG manual that I was reading, I guess. So let's see how this works. So the round button is for volume up. If you hold it, it's next song. Anti-blue light reduction lens. So these lenses here, I'm guessing, are just visually different. Okay, so they're just different, you know. I can imagine they're different strengths or different sunlight, or if you want polarized or a bit of a blue tint, you can do that. Let's turn them on. Okay, I heard power on. And I'm guessing they're into Bluetooth mode now, so I'm just gonna set it up on my computer. So there definitely is noise pollution. But when I put them on, it's actually somewhat loud. Now the, the quality of the audio isn't the best. You know, they're not going into your ear at all. The music's listenable. You know, I enjoy listening to it now, but I'd much rather normal headphones. But I think where this prevails is notifications. Nothing in your ears, um, you know, phone calls would be quite good, um, but primarily for notifications, text messages, whatever, Instagram, you know, notifications, this would be perfect. You've got nothing in your ears, and I can imagine you could probably hear it when they're on your head as well. But when they're down, it's actually quite loud. But it is just directional noise from these bits here into my ears. So there is some kind of noise pollution. It's not a lot. I'm actually kind of impressed when I take these off on how little I can hear it and how much I can hear it when I put it on. But it's definitely built for notifications. I wouldn't say music. And the fact that you can, you know, play, use these while you're playing video games and get notifications without having to, you know, hear ping ping from your phone is quite good. And to remove the lenses is quite simple. I just did it off camera then. So what you do is it looks a bit dodgy, but you just push them out from the back there, like so, and they've popped out. It sounds a bit dodgy, but in all honesty, you're fine. And to switch them up, you just place them in as neatly as you can, and then push down on both sides, like so, bang, one lens in, sit them in, make sure you get both, snap them in, you're ready to go, and give them a clean, and then your lenses are changed. They are quite thick on the side, obviously they need to fit all that tech inside of it, like the Bluetooth technology, the battery, the speakers, and they've got that nice purple detailing down there, which reminds me of the old DMG. And then we've gone back to the normal lenses here, which I prefer, these are a lot lighter. So when I'm video editing, I'll probably wear these because sometimes my eyes like do like to shift out of focus quite a bit. Um, but in all honesty, that will be in the full review on our website. So definitely keep an eye on the description box if you wanna see that, but I'm digging them. You know, they're quite expensive at $159, but for those of you that want something that doesn't give you eye strain or helps with it while you're working, video editing, video gaming, whatever, then these might be something to go for because the speakers in the back are quite nice. They're loud, you'll get notifications and stuff, and if you do want to play music through them, you can. Just be prepared to have, you know, low quality sound and maybe even a little bit of noise pollution. So there you have it. I really enjoyed that. I think it's a quite a smart piece of technology, especially for you Game Boy fans out there. I'm digging it. There's links below if you want more information and there will be a full review. So definitely hit subscribe to see that in your community tab and hit the bell icon below to get notified when there's more cool reviews like this. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there you have it guys. As usual, thank you for watching. It's much appreciated and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.